Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 a War of uh, the Chosen. My name is uh, Saiken and today we're continuing the Rise of the Robots campaign. We are on the final, final, final laps of this campaign and we're going to have some fun today. I wanted to spice things up so we're going to go into the next operations with a bit of a modified team. Mainly because I also want to try if a potential idea for a further run, which is the Rise of the Rookies uh, run, would actually work. So what we're going to do is we're removing mostly every single uh, solid soldier from here. We can go with a heavily injured uh, mech. Uh, then it is at least an actual chance that that mech might die we're going to take vdm we're going to take hail up we're going to take xqs6 oh wait he's tired well never mind uh, we're still going to take him xqs6 and we're going to take true rebel and just to complete the team how about we're taking hunk we haven't had him on a mission since ages okay so here's the deal i will um, essentially go into the mission with rookies only um, and this spark here just to sort of check how rookies on a more or less average end game mission would be performing the idea here is to get a feel if that would be a decent challenge or if it would be too easy xq6 has a proper weapon give him some blue screen rounds even has a nice suit of armor already i'm gonna go with blue screen rounds battle scanner is always a good investment repeater auto loader laser side stock let's give him one with a scope the rookies have a problem with their aim, so scopes most certainly is what we're looking for. And if we get some cover removal, you know what, probably another cover removal wouldn't be the worst idea. A couple of automatic stocks wouldn't be too bad either. So yeah, let's uh, give them a few stocks. So that's it, that's our team. Um, if we're running into an alien ruler, that would be very unpleasant, but it would uh, nonetheless be an interesting uh, experiment to see if uh, we can make it. So far, it has been a perfect run, so to speak, mainly because we haven't lost any uh, soldier during the run, but a couple of close calls. Uh, so. Um, yeah, this is actually putting a little bit more risk on the table since uh, the normal team hasn't had much of a problem. Let's uh, kick it off. Perfect, we just landed. And I should have read the uh, mission description a little bit better. Of course, we have a highly timed mission, which is actually quite difficult with, with rookies. Good. Let's take a look, shall we? We're going to take our... Spark, Quartius, taking the high ground, not finding anything anywhere, moving up, this is a bit dangerous, but we gotta be care, uh, we gotta be fast, already knew that we're going to be up against mechanical units. Boy, oh boy, that is a tough cookie. Uh, this pack here is doable, but uh, the other... Ooh. That's a lot of hit points. Good. We're rushing in. Uh, I just want to make sure we're not missing a beat. We could move all the way down here into full cover. Not the worst idea, specifically since we do have the shredder gun. Hunk is moving into full cover and VDM. Moving 
moves for full cover as well. Pretty solid position overall. This pack of uh, three mechs could be devastating if we trigger it. This on the other hand should be okay. So how about we're just taking a nice little move. Wait a second. Okay, so teamwork. I'll just double check who can teamwork with whom. We do have two heavy guns. This here could be one of uh, them. Would give us some extra time. But the pack is easy enough to not require that level of destruction. I will keep the overdrive kind of as a backup solution for now. Moving over. And the EDM also takes a solid position over here. The EDM has one Mimic Beacon. Here is the second one. Okay, just double checking who has the Mimic Beacons. So let us start this beautiful... This beautiful uh, fight with... Hitting the lead specter. Wow, 18 points of damage. That is a nice crit. Luckily, we're not taking any overwatch shots because uh, the specter has lightning reflexes. So the first overwatch shot would have been for nothing. The reason why I started with the specter is that the mech always starts to overwatch first. Uh, that is pretty foreseeable. In order pre, uh, to, and and it therefore stands in the open, so it's really easy to hit, right? So, no problem with that. Sixty-four percent. That's uh, the beauty of full cover. Can be quite painful. Punk moves over. And we're taking away the full cover. There we go. Solid boom. Good. Let's kill the Spectre. Target disabled. That's one down. And this should very much be a kill. Drop. All right. Good. I'm as graceful as a gazelle. We're taking that shot. That gives us one more turn. As we had hoped, the network separation And there is the warlock. I was almost hoping we would run into the alien ruler, but with the warlock here, that might not happen. It will become a much more difficult mission though. Uh, from Soul Stealer, uh, as long as someone else takes damage, he will gain damage. Immunity to explosions, yeah. Maglord, not so bad because we have plenty of blue screen rounds with us. That, on the other hand, is pretty bad. If we can find a high ground, he should be easily killable. Has plenty of armor. And now the question is, does that extra pack run into us? The answer is yes. There we go. You know... Hundred, hundred, K. Hundred, hundred, hundred. Perfect. Uh, we're looking at 
an extra action over there. Let's first of all remove the Overwatch over there. Very nice. Worked like a charm. We got the normal Shredder gun. Moving up. Oh yeah, now it is becoming more interesting. I was about to move there just to um, shred the target. But with both of the codices, it has now become much more interesting. Okay, cool. So, Shredder Gun would indeed hit both of them. And I would like to continue with that idea. Very nice. Time for some teamwork because now we have triggered two packs. So we're going to take some extra shots. I would definitely like to kill one of the code uh, codices, if not both of them. 90% shot, unfortunately missed. Not the best odds of hitting these guys uh, with 60% shots. Gotta take it though. And the alternatives were worse. One, two. All right, so. Moving the teamwork over. We're keeping a mimic beacon in reserve. Good, so that's the second one down. Overdriving. One. Two. Good, hung. Wow, we're pretty, pretty bad with hitting targets, that's for sure. 88%, come on, buddy. That's another 88% uh, chance, or we're using the Mimic Beacon, which I would prefer. That would be a 99% chance, but we're just doubling uh, the code, uh, codices, which we don't want to do. So instead, let's move a Mimic Beacon down there. Gotta watch the network timer as well. And I would say we're going to Overwatch. These guys only have one turn. Yep, we're lucky. Both of them need to move closer. And with the clone, uh, they used all of their actions. No. No. Well, almost all of the actions. Problem now is we're going to fight against spectral zombies on top of it. We're down to two rounds. Oh boy, oh boy, that is, that is going to be a tough mission. Let's 
specifically since we're fighting against quite a few hit uh, hit points here. Alright, one thing after the other. Let's reload to optimize our action economy. And the codex, uh, uh, codices need to die. That is a given. We also need to find a way of dealing with that over here. And there's another potential extra timing over here, which we should get. So, again, one step at a time. Done. Moving over, keeping the high ground as much as possible. Moving over, keeping the high ground as much as possible. Porsches here is... Moving well into range. I'm going to let him tank if necessary. And let's start here. That spectral zombie needs to die first. With it, there is a nice explosion. With the explosion, the other zombie falls down, can't reach us, so it's not a problem at this point. Which brings us to the enemies that are a problem at this point. We got an improved stock. No, we just got a normal stock. Which stinks, because if we had an approved stock, we could kill this guy 100%. So, advanced stock, yep, that is what we're going to do. We're not going to use another Mimic Beacon. We're going to kill the Codex 100%. Want to make sure that the Codices definitely don't survive. Two more to go. We got another advanced stock over here, but that's not a hundred percent kill with an advanced stock. Uh, that's gonna be a tough, tough one. I'm not uh, killing the enemy right away. Next turn, we need to improve the timer. Got plenty of options to do that, but it's still going to be tough. We're moving out of uh, sight. This is hopefully killing this guy. Yep, it does. Finishing the Codex, because uh, we can't use a psy uh, Psychic Bomb. Psychic Bomb would have costed us too much tempo at this point. The Vanishing is okay. He's uh, probably going to try to uh, to move towards us. Spectre Rupture, on the other hand, is not okay. We will need to move. And that's not the worst idea. Moving over, that's one movement. True Rebel moves over to here. Losing a lot of time just by moving. Double movement and Halo. Double moves as well. We 
we're just taking the extra shots in order to get all of these things uh, taken care of. Zombies are down. Okay, carefully moving here without triggering anything. This gives us yet another turn. There's another box over there. Sometimes you gotta be really, really crafty in finding the right spots. I don't want to move too far in, yet I want to hit that thing. Well, do we have an autoloader? No, we don't. Just moving a tiny bit and we're reloading. Mainly because I, yeah, I suspect we're going to be, um, we're going to be taken over now. Shadowbound, that was to be expected. Chosen will not summon yet. Next turn, though, uh, that is a different story. Moving up. All right, come on. Very nice. And we even remove the cover from this side. Perfect. All right, this here should be cover and 100% shot to kill him. X-ray down. My expectations for them were exceedingly low. Another auto loading. Perfect. We got one more auto loader after um, auto loader charge after that. Just moving up, trying to find more of uh, these um, devices to give us some more time. Back to three rounds. Let's take a look. We got none over here, none over here. That's the end of the map. There's yet another one over here. That's important. You've got to keep your eyes open. Sometimes it can mean the difference between uh, winning or losing. There's another one over there. Good. And I would like to aggressively push forward. Back to four rounds. And let's reload. The warlock finally shows his dirty face. Come on in. Oh boy, that is nasty. That's a lot of hit points. Oh, oh, oh wow. He did us absolutely dirty. All right, can't really move without removing uh, the Overwatch. Position 
And we gotta wake our fellows up. That's one revive. Unfortunately, leading to a disorientation. Hung here is uh, potentially capable of doing uh, something. As since he's disoriented, might as well just move here for now and revive the DM because with disorientation he will have a hard time hitting anything. Yeah, not the best turn of actions uh, to waste sort of half of uh, the team. Should have probably. Uh, could I could have not thrown the mimic beacon? That's a problem because he was uh, disoriented as well. And now we're also unlucky on top of it. Gosh, damn it. All right, let's try to hit these guys. Down to like what? One HP? Okay, that's at least a hundred percent kill because we have a stock. Not perfect. Oh, it gets worse, guys. We got a mimic beacon next turn, but we're probably going to eat uh, a couple of rockets because we've clustered up. And I wouldn't be surprised if uh, one of us gets mind controlled as well. Rockets, rockets. Well, that is not helpful. That is not helpful either, buddy. You got a hit when you're going berserk. Oh boy. Plenty of shots, but not a single one really hit well. With mind control, it's even worse, and we got. Um, uh, we got someone with a repeater. That's a scary proposition. Luckily, we got a Mimic Beacon. Okay, so what's the idea, Saiken? What is the idea? The idea is getting into full cover. Nice, Mind Control lost. Not sure why. Why was the Mind Control lost? Um, maybe since due to moving, they realized that they were adjacent and thus bondmates. Uh, that doesn't explain it. Why was the mind control lost? Hmm. No longer a threat. The elders created them for this very purpose. In that respect, they are fulfilled. Not 100% sure, to be honest. You see me pondering. Reloading. If they are standing close to one another, they can uh, mitigate the effects of uh, of mind control. Are these two here bond mates? Yes, they are bond mates. Here, that's it. Stand by me when the soldier ends a move adjacent to a bond mate. The bond mate will automatically be cleansed of any mental effect. Um, I wish I could claim that I de uh, definitely put them next to one another. I did put him next to uh, both of them in order to revive, but I didn't do it specifically for potential mind control. That was even uh, beyond my capabilities of predicting the um, game. We got an overwatch to deal with. Yeah, I can't really, can't really deal with an overwatch. All right, 
we're doing it the good old commercial way which is moving up and eating the overwatch we would have survived it we have uh, luckily plenty of cover uh, plenty of armor There we go, that's the crit we're looking for. Your weapon might be nearly depleted, my friend, but we finally got a couple of really nice shots on the Warlock. And he starts to suffer. Very good. True Rebel. Is this here really going to spot the warlock out? Probably not. I am moving towards potential high ground for next turn because uh, we want to kill the warlock. Uh, and our ungodly aim allows us uh, to miss yet again. Rookies for the win. This guy here could be another faceless one. Unfortunately for us, guys, it's probably more advantageous to not shoot the Warlock because... Uh, did he have return fire? No, he did not. He just had Soul Leech and that was it. So he does not trigger Overwatch, which means we need to shoot. You've hit him quite well. Another Mind Scorch. Oh boy, that is just disgusting. Alright, last reload, I think. Last free reload. Yep, we're done with uh, free reloading. Hello there, my friend. 100% chance to say thank you. All right, moving over. Oh, you're denying me uh, the option to resurrect him because... Oh, okay, well, that sucks. Closing on target position now. Settle down. Reviving True Rebel. I don't want to stand here or here. Not permanently. But there is only a very limited chance to revive both of them, so I gotta do what I gotta do. We still have full hit points, uh, so he can take one hit of uh, the Warlock. There is no great position to revive and uh, still got a cover position. One twenty-three percent chance to hit this guy. But we got to stop, right? Yeah, we got to stop. So it's going to be damage regardless. In this case, we even hit him. Need a resupply. You dare strike the elders chosen. Reloading. 
Can't hit him. Might as well destroy one of the modules to upgrade our network separation timer. It's probably going to be Army of the Dead. Yeah. There we go. He will be invulnerable as long as the Army of the Dead is running. Uh, surprisingly enough, he kind of summons them at a complete remote location. Not really clear why or how he has done that, but okay. We got a Mimic Beacon nonetheless, so we're probably going to use that. The Taking the high ground here. Ready to go. Reloading. Let's start. We do almost have no additional uh, abilities left over. Roger. Might as well take the high ground as well as we can. Good. We're optimizing our movement, which is reload first. And then hit this guy. There we go. Nice one. Moving into another high ground. And I can't stand here. He has no cover, even though it is high ground. So I'm moving over here. All right, moving over here. That's one down. That's two down. And we got to use our Mimic Beacon. Again, not much we could have done. We needed to reposition and reload. Oh, wow. How can you actually miss a Mimic Beacon? That is pathetic. Punk begins to reload. Let's hit this guy. What's the opposite of let's hit this guy? Another reload. Whenever we do have the option to reload first, we should do that. Very nice. Free reload and oh, let's kill this guy. Kill Spectral army almost down. We're moving up here. That is uh, nearly a kill. Halop is moving down as well. Very nice. We just found the last faceless one. And uh, let's take a good look. Because the warlock is going to die. <laughs> Damn right. 
Another one bites the dust. Okay, that was a pretty epic fight for a team of squaddies and a pretty injured mech. job commander but there's no trace of that chosen left i've got a feeling we haven't seen the last of them still at least we ruined their plans today good i love ruining their plans it's one of my very favorite hobbies there we go that gives us yet another timer and i think that's that's all the time we're going to get, Commander. That I was just about to say that I think we had no more relays. Which pretty much tells us I enjoy the rush everyone needs to rush towards the target. Good. Give the fire shots. Are we at least taking the overward shot? Yeah, thank you. Uh, by the way, you might have uh, hit him uh, in the door whilst he was actually going through the door. Of course, if you are trying to hit him uh, after he has long left that corridor. It's no surprise that you won't hit. True Rebel has the reaction of an 80 years old grandpa. Good. Spark Horseus uh, takes all of the kills because we can theoretically still level it. Up any other contacts, get those charges deployed. Dashing already there. Got it. Good, that should solve it. And if I'm not completely mistaken, that's also the end of the mission, guys. Signal confirmed. X4 charges are active. Well, that was fun. I'm happy that we were taking the rookie squad for another ride. Good job. Good, good, good. We are on our way back. And unfortunately, everybody is slightly wounded. But fortunately for us, we got Quartzios promoted yet again. And uh, we definitely would like to increase the area of the AoE effects. Strike is great, but... Boy, boy, the heavy weapons, specifically the later ones, just dealt so much damage in a huge array. Hello, Commander. Resistance Informant is uh, mm, uh, a pretty nasty. Uh, is a pretty nasty uh, dark event as well. So it's good that we uh, covered uh, mm, countered that. Got some more assorted loot. We Avenger could take that, of course. And hopefully we can now almost fast forward because we got a couple more cool missions to do. The others were more in uh, interruption, if anything. Into the Fire is the next one that I'm looking forward uh, to finish the Warlock. I am sure you will find the results to be as good. We got our serpent suit. Despite an extensive study of Dr. Valen's research reports, I have yet to discover how she came to acquire such um, an impressive. Do we really need more intel? I think we're fine. In the editing and manipulation of alien genetic material. You know, we can continue with that for now. We have something of note. But I think we wanted to finish our studies here. There we go. 
So we're uh, finishing or starting with the final research on the avatar. And then it's time to uh, kill the warlock and do the last mission. That's pretty much what we're going to do. I hope you're not feeling overwhelmed by all <sighs> That is not good. Okay. Well, since it's permanent dark events, uh, there is no more black market. GG. <laughs> and honest to God, I wanted to take a look at the black market. I was like, eh, I might give it a try and take a look. Well, it is what it is. We finished another spark. It is Quitius, so uh, let's give it a proper last name. I and not taking the death of an elder lightly, and in turn, you know, greatly it looks good. Other than the hat, I don't like that hat. Um, and shall we give it? Rapid processing. That's a good one. Non-essential human life to begin immediately. Very nice. So we got another golden one. Quintius. And whilst we're at it, what are potential weapon upgrades? Air trigger, expanded, uh, advanced expanded magazine. Yes, please. I would like to give it superior, uh, a superior uh, um, scope. But the black market is, yep, you guessed it, pretty much closed at this point. So for now, let's give it a superior stock. And once the weapon... And once we get another scope, we might use it. Anyways, got our fifth spark. We're getting some more experimental uh, heavy weapons for the sparks. And theoretically, we could even run an all sparks team. You know, maybe we're even going to do that on one mission, just for shits and giggles. Coming in for you now, Commander. I had high hopes for the resistance under your leadership, Commander. Good. The warlock is ready to initiate an additional dark event. That stings. Uh, but we can essentially kill him at some point. And the dark events just keep coming. Uh, complete immunity to all uh, environmental effects is pretty bad. Greater losses in will is pretty bad as well. Those are two nasty dark events. But we're now in the end game. All of the dark events are more or less nasty. We got this one here. Proving ground ammunition uh, res uh, is created instantly. Because why not? What we can definitely get rid of is 33% reduction for the uh, for the black market. Yep, you guessed it. It is closed. So we don't need resistance contacts. We don't need excavation. We don't need power. Speaking about complete and utter nonsense, none of uh, these things will help us. Hmm. I guess we're just taking three power then. We'll do as we're told. Very nice. We got ourselves an inspire. And how about we're just going to go with the stasis shield? Un unfortunately, we still can't edit uh, John Mira here. So Roby still has. That training blocked. That's pretty bad. Good. We also don't really need any any of these. We don't need any upgrades. So we're pretty much uh, still set. No bonds that uh, require our attention. Does Magister maybe require some more some more things for instance void conduit to heal himself that's not bad i like ionic uh, um, ionic storm as well both of these are good 
The Void Conduit is pretty damn good. It's a good crowd control. Also regain some hit points. I'm almost, almost uh, thinking whether or not we should take that. So that's 25 plus 10, that's 35, because Amplify is great as well. Love to put that onto um, the avatars. They melt away once they are amplified. Let's go with Void Conduit and let's go with Amplify. Both of uh, these are great. Because uh, we're definitely going to take Magister into the last uh, run. Not sure yet if we're going to take her into the last run as well. I still haven't made up my mind if we're going two sparks or three sparks into the last run. I will be honest, I like the three sparks a lot. And with Templars, you know, one is phenomenal. The second one has pretty diminishing returns. Are you kidding me? I can't a guy just get by? No, we we cannot just do, uh, leave that uh, be. So we're going to go uh, for the UFO. Just for full disclosure, only five more days for the Warlock and a few more days for the Avatar Autopsy. So we're really on the last leg of uh, this run, but it is a perfect run so far as well. So I feel we want to continue doing that. I want to give it a five sparks super uh, clown fiesta in the next run plus storm so that uh, she might level up as well. If we can uh, bring her to the highest rank, to Colonel, we might take her into the last uh, mission. So, yeah. Next mission is going to be Clown Fiesta, as we're uh, uh, doing Operation Witch Slayer. Given that this is only 12 enemies, something tells me that the uh, alien ruler is going to be here. Because these missions are incredibly tough, and this here is not... There is no real juicy or big target. It's at this point either Sectopod or Gatekeeper. And not seeing either of those here tells me there is an Alien Ruler. Trust me, I would bet my money on Alien Ruler. And that also offers us the Icarus suit, which I definitely would like to get. Before ending today's session, let's take a look at engineering. Uh, hmm. Don't need any of uh, that. I was just curious. We got plenty of supplies, so another mimic beacon or two will not hurt. Mind shields are plenty full available at this point as well. A couple more blue screen rounds. Not that we need any of these uh, things here. And the other topic that I wanted to double check is, can we get the Serpent Suit? Yes, we can, but it costs us an Elarium Core. Question of the day is, uh, Serpent Suit or Experimental uh, Power Weapon? The Serpent Suit isn't bad, but we are really not using the high ground too much, so... I'm not 100% convinced that that is going to help us a lot. It's a great, it's a really great item and it is good for rangers. It is absolutely fantastic for uh, snipers. The CC is good, but we're not lacking any firepower. So um, probably not going to go for it. If we get another core, I will go for it. For now, I won't though. And that's pretty much the end of today's run. Uh, if you like to see the Clown Fiesta next uh, mission, please leave a few comments down below. Uh, that helps me uh, to grow the channel. And we see each other in two days. Take care, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.